What's going on, guys? This is your boy Project I Spin. I'm bringing another episode of Pokemon Imperium. Um, so, in the last episode, we went through the. Uh, we reached the Ruined Island. Um, so, we're now we're, we're going up to the Ruined Plateau, battling a couple of trainers. <laughs> Those bad. <laughs> oh, you said, oh, you said battling? Yo, oh, you still got sick and tired of battling? I know how to fix that. More battling. <laughs> Go to this next route. Alright, nothing here. One, two, three. The stairs lead to the plateau. Oh no, not astonish. Oh, well that's nice. Nice. Perfect. Beedrill? I'm quite curious to see how fast I am weak compared to his weak. Oh! You're not Mega. Tiangela. Goodbye. Huh. I wonder how many people I triggered by calling that Tangela. Oh, that's a regular Smickle, not Skateboard Smickle. How did you do that? Your team is awesome. Oh. How do I get down here? Oh, I need Waterfall. Cool, alright. You're almost at the peak. Oh, right. Okay. Let's stay. Ah. 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 Get my bow. Thank you. Lucario. Skateboard Lucario. Damn, that extreme speed did damage. Okay, uh... Iron Punch. It flinches you? Wow, okay. So we just go do it like that, huh? Are you freaking kidding me? Get him up out of here. Dodrio.
Oh, wow. Maybe I should have just used Outrage. Well, does he have a fourth Pokemon, or did I already defeat his fourth? All oh, his Pokemon. Oh, nope. Oh! You just left on one. Like, for no reason. Alright, I see you. There we go. The Roaring Plateau. And there's the Draco Gym and the Candy Shop on the left, the Pokemon Center on the right, the Spell Center on the right. Let's save this game. Aurora! Are you enjoying the harsh sun here on the Roaring Shrine? Some of your Pokemon may especially like it. Oh, does that is that saying that a uh, certain Pokemon will evolve up here? You can't. <laughs> oh my! What? <laughs> you can't imagine the face palm. That I'm having right now. The candy shop actually has can the music candy shop. Are you freaking kidding me right now? <laughs> All right, that just made my day. Oh, right. oh wow! I heard a gym captain Ares secretly frequents the candy shop, but she does it in secret at night. I don't know why she would be embarrassed, like about eating sweets. I mean, liking sweets. <gasps> So the guy that runs the shop just moved here from a sutra city. Good move, opening a candy shop. It is in fact just what I needed. <sighs> I get that reference. <laughs> they won't let me go to space. This is so. This is the next best, best thing. I need that sugar rush. I bring my brother here every day for his daily dose of candy. There's so much candy here. This is the best shop in the world. My Pokemon like the candies just as much as I do. I want the shiny candy behind that glass. Let's see what we got. Chocolate chip, chocolate hearts, chocolate cake, apple plums, a sutra cones, rage candy bar. White herb. Revival herb. Oh, so you sell re er, revival herbs. HP candy. Attack. Special attack. Speed. Oh, speed! Wow, speed is so expensive. <laughs> I'll buy a couple of revival herbs. Let's buy ten. Actually, let's buy another ten. I'm so upset. <laughs> Hello there. Ah, excuse me. I meant to say Aurora. Aurora. That's what the island folks say when they want to say hello. I moved here only recently, so I'm not yet used to all the co colloquialisms. Aurora. 
Have you been to the candy shop yet? It's like the number one sweet shop in the region. Living on this scorching hot island would simply be unbearable without it. Let's check this place out. I look up the heiress, our gym captain. She's cute, I, I guess, in her own way. But people are usually scared of her, and are messing dragons. I heard, I heard she once torched a charger who tried to ask her out after losing the gym battle. So remember, if you're gonna ask her out, make sure you get the badge first. Where did I put those shorts? Do you know? Ah, another Pokézar. Let's see. Hi, right, 20 super potions. Mega potions are good. Revives. We'll hold off on that, all, all the rest of this for now. A guy from the Baltia region lives here. The island appears to refer to him as the Crystal Gathering. I wonder what sort of crystals he likes. Phew. Yeah. Mr. Anton lets me stay here during the day. He has air conditioning and a cable TV. It's so cool here. Private, dude. I am Anton, the Crystal Gathering. If you bring me six red stardusts and six blue stardusts, I could condense them and make you a stardust crystal. Yes. Akushka. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce those words anymore. Look at this beautiful crystal. Alright. Let's continue to do this until we run out. And then we can finally... Uh, we can finally sell those along with anything else that we uh, need to sell in order to buy at least one of the houses. I think 10 of these, uh, I think at least 10 of these would get me, uh, probably 500,000. I think it's 50,000 per Stardust Crystal, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's 50,000 per Stardust Crystal. So, uh, 2 will get me 100,000. 10 will give us 500,000. So we need at least 20 to get the house in, um, we need at least 10, uh, 20 to get the house in, um, Silent. Wait. We could get the house in Silent once we get, uh, 1,200,000. We could get the house in... Door River if we just try to get 1,000. Oh, okay. Yeah, once you get at least one of the houses, you make, you're, you're, in a, you're getting a, a good amount of pocket money. And then you can just go on a cycling road. I see, I see what they're doing. Cool, cool. All right. something of the red crystals and like 80 something of the blue ones so I'm not sure if I'll be able to get 20 I'll, I'll definitely be able to get at least 10 
but I have a bunch of nuggets, rare bones, and all that kind of stuff, so they may... Oh, okay. I guess that's all I have. How many is that? Oh, I'm all the way to the top. Let's go up here. I have 14 Stardust Crystals. 14 times 50,000 is... Let me look this up. Fourteen times fifty thousand is seven hundred thousand dollars. How much money do I have on me right now? Maybe I shouldn't have bought those stuff. One hundred nineteen thousand. What would happen if I sold... Let's see, we got the pearl... We got the big, two big pearls. So, five of these armor fossils. All of these. Yep, I should have enough now. To sell the Stardust Crystals. Oh, almost enough. Okay. Um, what else can I have to sell? Hmm. What? I can sell 25 of these. Ah, the Nuggets. There we go. Almost, almost. Uh, hard scales. have enough for another 200,000. Because that's how much the other house wrecked. Yep. Another 200,000. That's a little too much for me. So, I guess I'll get the house in Door River first. Let me make sure to heal first. Here. Oh, right. Takes getting used to not using a... I can fly back here. But... And I can fly to the trainer tower. Neat. The Islet of Horus. Did I miss something? Alright, let's go to Door River first. Alright, where is this house in Door River? this property for you and why you ten thousand dollars for every one thousand steps you make. Alright. I 
bought the first house. It took a long time, but I finally did it. Alright, let's fly back. Yippee! School is over! What school? <laughs> Geological books here say that the bed in the roaring volcano is rich in zirconium. That would explain the recent drilling operations with the signal code. But what would they need do with all that zirconium? The Gravelist is wearing a signal dog tag with the letters K K A Z engraved in it. He's watching it moves intently. The shopkeepers say that the Gravelist you see there appeared one day out of the air. And that's on Sundays. He's not. He's there. And that's. Uh, and that on Sundays he's there, and on others he's not. That room is not Im yet implemented. Perhaps never will be. Come back later. What? <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you for the honesty. Focus sash. Draco shield. Let's explore more of this area, shall we? I believe that's the the gatherer. The crystal gatherer. If you're going that way, be careful. We started detecting increased seismic activity around the east half of the island. We need to make take measures in to ensure that, that the volcano, if it erupts, will not impact the plateau of its residence. How awesome is it that we have a space elevator here? Cargo is being shipped via shuttles to the space station. Promodium, I think it's called, almost daily. Comet shard. Oh, okay. I know those could be. Co Wait, comet shard. If I remember correctly, those are items that can be sold, right? Yep. Now I'm wondering how much this will be sold for. Maybe if I held on to it, I could buy the uh, one in Silent City instead. Oh no, it's just a little bit more than that. I remember it being a lot more than that before. Alright, let's explore more of this area. I'm here if, I heard some people surf all the way to, from Castoni Town to here. Insane! But I also heard that somewhere along, around Route 109, there's a place called the Islet of Horus where one can encounter a rare legendary Pokemon. But you'd need a special kind of crystal to attract it. Oh! Would it happen to be the Comet Crystal? If that's the case, they should have made that a... Are you here to challenge Jim? I heard Ares are specialized in dragon and flying type Pokemon. And that she's very... strict. Some say she's worse than Ashy. You could- that's actually a thing? You could be stricter than Ashy? Salamancite. I heard Ares use a dragon type flying types, but that she likes dragons more. Oof. 
Oh, he's speed type. It's actually amazing that I haven't found a what you call it yet. The to the to where I Because I think I found the Apollyonite and the Infernite. So where's the one for Tyrantrum? I mean for Tartera. I'm shocked. Do you really not have a move for me? No Dark Pulse? Really? Say Arius looks up to Zinni a lot. I mean, it's pretty obvious when you look at her. Oh wow, that did nothing. Yikes. Judge gun. Okay. Oh, that was a crit too. Oh, uh, apparently you're not the multi-scale Dragonite. Dang. I was really hoping that candy shop had that little candy that, uh, change your uh, Pokemon's ability. How'd you pull that off? a special bond to the Pokemon. It makes them incredibly strong. Ow! Like, for real? Skin. 
Ow. But now you can't escape. Back to the grass. Test your skills. If you cannot defeat me, you will surely be destroyed by Ares. Oh lord. Always gotta let me bring in the the Dragon Slayer right here. Just in case you're a fairy type. Yep. See how you fare ill you fare against Ares. Alright, we're at 32 minutes, guys. I think I'll call this an episode. I'm contemplating whether I should go to the space elevator first, uh, space station first, or should I do the gym first? So, maybe I'll explore a little bit in the next episode. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure that space elevator thing is probably going to be story. But, we'll end it off here. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Later.